All right, we're gonna be looking at this ace magician thing. Pretty interesting. Um, this cover just comes off like this. It has like a magnet and two hooks, and that's pretty much it. You got an SSD in here. I don't know why, but every SSD that has these heat sinks on them, they like just die really fast. You can see there's two sticks of RAM, PC4, what is that, 21300, I've never seen that. I guess it's a 2666, you see there, 2666, probably 266V. <clears throat> 8 gig, there's two sticks, so 16 gigs total. Never seen that kind of RAM. They have a phone number here, I guess, if you want to contact them. But uh, we're just going to be replacing the SSD um, because it's no longer being detected by the computer. So pretty sure it's dead. Sorry, I don't have it on the tripod or anything. Um, but anyways, we're going to use a JS1 screwdriver for this. Just remove that screw. Okay. Um, and there are two slots there, so if you want, you can add a second one. But this one seems to be dead, so it lifts up like that, and we're just going to pull that out. I don't know if I should transfer this heatsink over. Again, like I said, every SSD that I see that fails, a lot of times, almost all the time, they're going to have these heatsinks. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me see if I can transfer it over. We're going to switch to a Crucial P3. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so basically two rubber bands. You can see we're going to put a 500 gig one because the old one was 512 gig, so I don't think they need one terabyte. They didn't say they needed anything backed up, so most likely if that's the case, they're not going to be storing too much, all right? Anyways, we got that. It goes in at an angle. The heat sink, it just kind of pops off. You have to slowly pull on it because it's like sticks to it a bit. All right, there we go. Make sure the SSD stays within that groove. And then we just get that screw back in and we should be good. We're going to install the OS on it. <clears throat> I think they said it had Windows 11. Then we're just going to run all the updates to hopefully get all the drivers. Um, this thing, let me get the screw on the screwdriver, sorry. All right, this thing was relatively cheap. Um, the SSD they had in here was some weird no-name brand. I've never heard of it before. I've never heard of this RAM before. So, yeah, I don't know. Future Path, who knows what that is. Something from China, I'm assuming. All right, anyways, <clears throat> we're just going to put this cover back on. You can see it has these hooks. Hook that in. Okay, and then once you hook it, just drop it in, and it should hold. And that's pretty much it. Press delete uh, F2 or delete to boot from your USB. You can see I have a little USB. That's Windows 11 on there. And then we're going to install that, and yeah, hopefully we're good to go. The SSD wasn't showing up in the BIOS or anywhere, so I'm pretty sure this SSD is fried. All right, that's it for now. See you guys later. Bye. Okay, here you can see before in the NVMe configuration in the BIOS, it showed nothing. Now we can see this, right? It shows the crucial 500 gig, and yeah. All right, so quit without saving. We're just going to boot our installer and install Windows normally. All right, see you guys later. Also, I have a method for installing Windows 11 without um, a Microsoft account. You can do a local account, so if you want to know how to do that, just let me know. I have a link to that video I can send you. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so on this device, there were three drivers that were not working. Bluetooth, um, there was a network card, and then there was some AMD or processor stuff. So basically, I had to go around searching for it, and I found these MediaTek drivers. Okay, and then the AMD one was the other. So that one fixed that, and then I found some links here for the other two. So I think it was here. Yeah, and then there's a link for the Wi-Fi driver and the Bluetooth driver. So I'm sorry to do this to you, but you're gonna have to just, I guess, get a link, get the link from here. So let me see if I can get that in a text or something. Uh, let's open Notepad and just paste it in there. And here's the link. So if you need it, pause the screen, type that up, and hopefully that'll help you out. All right. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.